At first they laughed. Western experts said the Su-57 was slow, loud, and not stealthy enough to be a threat. Some even called it a failure. But what if they were dead wrong? What if Russia wasn't just trying to mimic the F-22 or F-35, but building something far more dangerous? A machine that doesn't need to hide to hunt. A predator designed to outlast, outfight, and outthink its rivals. This isn't just a jet. The Su-57 is a silent executioner hiding in plain sight. As we speak, it's evolving into a force that could shake the skies. And it may already be too late to ignore. In this video, you'll uncover what the Su-57 was really built for, and why even the loudest critics are beginning to panic. We'll break down the hidden technology, the shocking tactics, and the unsettling truth behind this misunderstood aircraft. Stick around, because once you discover what lurks inside the Su-57, you may never look at fighter jets the same way again. The Su-57 started as a bold dream. Russia wanted its own fifth-generation fighter, something to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with America's F-22 and F-35. But from the very beginning, the project was haunted by problems, delays, crashes, and constant mockery in Western headlines. Experts ridiculed its exposed engines, its radar signature, its coatings. Many believed Russia had failed, but behind the laughter, something else was happening. Russia wasn't chasing American-style stealth. It was following a different blueprint. Piece by piece, the Su-57 changed. Its sensors grew sharper, its weapons more lethal, and its mission more defined. What emerged was not a stealth clone, but a predator made for survival. Not invisible, but deadly enough to live through the chaos of real war. Unlike the F-22 or F-35, the Su-57 doesn't obsess over vanishing from radar. Russia designed it to be hard to track, not impossible to see. The difference? Survival. It doesn't need to be a ghost if it can take the hit and still strike back. With advanced sensors, brutal countermeasures, and a rugged airframe, the Su-57 was built to stalk its enemies in the most unforgiving conditions. Its greatest weapon isn't always its missiles, it's its eyes. The Su-57 carries a powerful IRST, or infrared search and track system. It sees enemy aircraft by their heat, without ever turning on its radar. Stealth fighters that think they are invisible, the Su-57 can spot them by the glow of their engines. Add to that its rare side-facing radars, allowing it to scan wide angles while flying straight. And suddenly, this fighter has a 360-degree picture of the battlefield. Seeing first often means killing first. And the Su-57 was designed to see when others are blind. But survival isn't just about sight. Russian engineers built the Su-57 for brutal wars, not air shows. With reinforced landing gear, wide tires, and mudguards, it can take off from damaged runways or even rough roads. It thrives in places where Western fighters would be grounded. It doesn't need polished bases or perfect logistics. In war, that makes it a nightmare opponent. And then there's the secret weapon most don't believe, the jet that fights back even against missiles. While most aircraft dodge or prey, the Su-57 blinds its hunters with a laser. Its Jerkum system, directional infrared countermeasures, literally fires light at incoming missiles, frying their eyes mid-flight. Imagine a jet that stares a missile down and wins. That's the Su-57. So why hasn't Russia abandoned it after the failures, the delays, the mockery? Because the Su-57 isn't just a fighter, it's a command node. It links with drones like the S-70 Okotnik, guides attacks and directs the battle without exposing itself. It's not a lone wolf, it's a general in the sky. Every new upgrade only makes it more dangerous. Make no mistake, the Su-57 may not outduel the F-22 in a clean dogfight, but that's not the war it was built for. It was built for dirty wars where runways are craters, GPS is jammed, and stealth is no guarantee. This jet was made for the conflicts we don't see coming, the ones that won't play by America's rules. And when that day comes, the Su-57 won't need to impress. It will just need to kill and survive. If you've watched this far, you already know the Su-57 isn't a failure. It's a warning. And if you want to stay ahead of the next generation of air combat, hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video right now. Because in the battles of tomorrow, information isn't just power. It's survival. What do you think? Is Russia rewriting the rules of air combat with the Su-57? Drop your thoughts in the comments, we're listening.